thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for the High School Years Expansion Pack. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new household for you to play with in your game. Now the lot that we're looking at here is just the rental lot that comes with the new world, Copperdale in the game. I turned it from a rental lot into a residential lot. So this is the house that I've moved this family into. And I'm gonna jump into the game and kind of introduce them introduce you to these new sims oh my goodness i cannot get my words out i've been playing with the pack so much i've forgotten how to actually speak anything but simlish uh so this sim here is uh oh it's bouncing around a little bit uh this sim here is chloe aslanian so now chloe aslanian she's on the surface to all the kids at school to all the teachers she seems like she has the perfect life uh, she's a cheerleader let me just put the walls down a little bit she's a cheerleader she's um she's a cheerleader she's a simfluencer she's doing quite well with the grades and she's a bit of a perfectionist so it's really important to her to have this kind of perfect image and maintain it however you can see that she's very very sad so although on the surface she seems to have a perfect life she really really doesn't and the reason for this is that she's recently lost her mother so her mother has recently given birth they've got a brand new baby uh, David Aslanian uh, but the mum very sadly passed away so the family is in mourning so it's a very very kind of like sad start to this family and their background like their backstory is really really sad um the family is struggling um and they're doing they're struggling in different ways and chloe has kind of taken it upon her shoulders to keep everything together so if we just jump over to her dad her dad here who's super cute i have the biggest crush on him here he's uh he's not really doing too well though so uh really really suffering really grieving the loss of his wife um this is i've forgotten his name this is tigran aslanian uh their names are um armenian uh the reason why i've chosen armenian names uh and this kind of armenian heritage and background for them is because chloe herself is kind of based on the kardashians a little bit not any specific kardashian but that kind of like um, the need for a perfect image and also kind of what a lot of people in our culture at this time tend to see as like the perfect person so she's uh you know she's a career woman she's got good grades she's beautiful she's got that kind of girl next door look to her um you know and she kind of her looks have kind of based a little bit on madison beer as well so you know really really stunning really kind of like naturally blessed and yeah she's really having a very very tough time of it so uh her dad tigrim is um he's not doing too well so he's actually got the gloomy trait um to show and he's got fear of unfulfilled dreams so this is kind of to show that he's not doing too well either he's um he's He's, he's just really suffering he's really grieving his his wife his wife was the love of his life and uh yeah he's he doesn't know how to cope he's like been left with three children one of them is a baby and he's just he's he's not doing well at all he's actually got the aspiration to have a uh soulmate because i think his wife because she loved him so much she really wants him to to move on and to find love and happiness in his life again so that's kind of his challenge so you can see up here chloe is off to work oh no <laughs> the baby is awake david is awake uh let's bottle feed and uh you know so basically he's just trying to hold it together his only concern right now or his complete preoccupation is uh keeping the baby alive uh that's like all he's capable of doing right now um it's like his capacity to parent his capacity to work is really at an all-time low so just keeping the baby happy is his priority um you can see actually he's in the so he was an artist he's gone freestyle now so that he can work from home he just couldn't face a nine-to-five job anymore and he's not actually bringing in any any money he's not taking any gigs so uh yeah definitely really struggling there he's a widower uh loss in the family yeah doing very very badly come and change the baby's bottom so his entire day is taken up with basically sleeping grieving and caring for the baby 
Um, Chloe's little brother here, uh, Levin, is uh, he's also not doing super duper well. So uh, the way that I'm kind of showing this, he's a social butterfly as well, by the way, that's his aspiration and he's good. The way that I'm showing that he's not coping very well, he kind of doesn't know how to handle his emotions, is that he has wild mood swings. And the way that I'm doing this in the game is if I look, if you show you his outfits, so he's got this outfit, which is kind of like his everyday normal outfit. If I can just get him to stop eating for a second. He's doing quite well looking after himself. Look how like sadly he's pushing the food around his plate as well. It's so sad. Chase the clout. Oh my gosh, no way. Titan Chroma, a famous makeup out uh, influencer is reaching out to Chloe to do a collab. This is a great opportunity and could really put Chloe's name on the map. On the other hand, Chloe might want to try and make it on her own without anyone's help. Does she do the collab and gain the clout or does she take a chance to make it on her own? I think she'd team up. She needs the help to be honest. Um, the chemistry between the two is awkward and strained. The video goes viral, but in the worst way possible. Oh no, Chloe, I'm so sorry. Highlighting all of Chloe's mistakes. The, uh, what does that say? The flub hurts. Not just her reputation, but also her bank account. Oh no, Chloe, I'm so, so sorry, darling. That really was not what she needed today. So yeah, this is uh, Tigran's little everyday outfit. He's why would you have to face such an awkward way, Tigran? Uh, so yeah, he's got this kind of plain everyday outfit. Um, but what I've done is I put on, uh, if I can just show you. So he's got this like baby Yoda version of the outfit. For This is to show that he really doesn't want to socialize. He kind of wants to be left alone. It's his way of coping through pretending he's like an alien, basically. So uh, that's his way of uh, just avoiding and saying like, don't talk to me. I'm having a sad day. And I've also given him this little Hat. So this is a little animal hat. I think it came with uh, like the deluxe edition or the base game. I can't even remember. They came so long ago, um, and uh, it actually makes the the wearer quite angry. So you can see here, angry lion uh, from clothing item. So again, this is just to show that he's going through a bit of a phase. So if he wears the angry lion hat, he's not dealing well with his emotions and he's feeling angry that day. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's just a little storytelling device that I'm doing. Um, so. So um, another thing that I've kind of done is, um, so uh, Tigran's wife, I've forgotten her name, I want to say it was Gemma because <laughs> I'm bad with names, oh my gosh she's not even in the family tree, wow we need to bring her ghost back, so Gemma was, um, was a violinist. So what I'm hoping to do when you get this family from the gallery, hopefully Gemma will be there as a ghost if I can figure out how to do that. If not, I'm sorry. Um, and hopefully if you put a, guitar, uh, a violin, this is what I'm hoping, I don't know if it'll work. If you put a violin in the house, hopefully she'll come and play the violin because this was what she used to do. She was a violinist, she was in the musician career. Um, however, uh, Tigran, uh, sorry, not Tigran, sorry, I'm getting all the names mixed up. This is Tigran, right? Yes, um, he uh, he hates uh, the violin. Here you go. He dislikes violin. So the and, and classical music. And the idea is he just can't bear to listen to classical music, especially violin music, because it w reminds him of his wife so much. Uh, so yeah, he's really not coping too well. And so Chloe then uh, is taking it upon her shoulders to kind of put on this um put on this big show that she has a perfect life um so uh she's good this is why because she's good and she really cares very very deeply about her family she loves her dad she loves her brother she is protective of her baby brother and um so she's trying to make it so her dad doesn't have anything to worry about um in her mind she's like if i have good grades if i'm on the cheerleading team if i'm uh working as a influencer and bringing money into the house then my dad has less to worry about i don't want dad to worry about me when he has to ha like worry about himself and my baby two brothers so uh she's actually really really good and it's coming from a really sweet place uh, so she's got a fear of a dead end job um, so she is an overachiever and uh, she's going through a distant phase as well which makes a lot of sense actually uh, so the idea of her one of her challenges is because she's uh, she's the popular girl right she stinks right now so <laughs> she would not want anyone to see her while she was so stinky because she's the popular girl um, and she's putting on this brave face and she doesn't really want anyone to worry about her um, she's gonna have to kind of keep up that social need and her friendship group and you know keep talking on social bunny and things like that um even though she doesn't really want to even though she's feeling really really distant so there's some lovely uh 
but heart-wrenching kind of conflicts going on for her. Um, so she is, like just to kind of show you, so she's trying to be a perfect student because again, she's kind of a perfectionist. So she's a high school B student at the moment, really trying to work hard to get, get those grades up. Uh, she's um, on the cheerleading squad, again, trying to be head cheerleader. And uh, she's a macro influencer, which is like step two of that entrepreneur job. She also likes really likes doing trendy. So up here, I've got like a little uh, rack in her bedroom. You can just place it in your bedroom if you don't want to have to go to thrifty every single time and you can create a fashion look um, and sell it and do all that kind of stuff. Again, that's just her way of trying to support the family and make sure her dad doesn't have to worry about uh, money, basically. Um, yeah, so that is what is going on with them. I'm just going to jump into Cass and kind of show you all the different outfits that she's got. Um, where are we? Modifying Cass. Um, mainly I've been focused on Chloe because it is a teen expansion pack so I've really uh, she is the defining sim she's the protagonist so most of my efforts have gone on to Chloe uh, but you can kind of see a little bit of the dad style here he's very very grey again to show that kind of gloomy mood um, yeah just very very gray very plain really not putting a lot of effort into his appearance you know he's letting his beard grow and all that kind of thing because he just doesn't want to he just he just can't care about his appearance when he's going through so much grief um and uh just to jump onto leaven here again he's got um multiples of that that outfit because again i wanted it to be like showing different moods for different days to kind of express what he's going through because he can't actually emotionally express what he's going through and then he's just got some like standard like cute kid outfits uh, a little bit retro um just very very cute i really like the green uh, kind of um, like sporty jacket as well for him there and so jumping over to chloe who again is kind of the main sim uh, you can see that she has the admired icon um teen aspiration because uh, she wants to be a transessor she wants to be popular and influential this is kind of like if the reason why I went for this and not um, goal orientated was because I think before her mother passed away, um, she was like a normal teen. She was a normal kind of popular girl who wanted, you know, to be famous and to be stylish and all those things that a teenage girl would probably want to be. Um, however, um, so I wanted to keep that aspiration because that's like her core aspiration. That's like who she was before, you know, her family fell into tragedy. Uh, but over here in her actual trait, she's got the overachiever trait and she's got the good trait. Uh, again, I think she's naturally a good person. She's naturally popular because people like her, you know, she's blessed with good looks. She's a good person and she works hard. So easy to like her. But again, like definitely, um, She's a very challenging sim to play. This is a really, I have to say this, this high household, like high challenge level because they are going through so much and because they have so many challenges, like a new baby, um, you know, grieving, uh, the moods, the fears, it's, it's a lot. And then Chloe having basically three jobs because she's got the cheerleading job, the high school like the high school career it's kind of like a career but not right and she also has uh she's got cheerleading high school and she's got this influencer job so uh it's really hard to even like fit in time to have fun or a social life in there you really do have to juggle very very carefully uh so yeah be warned that it's not an easy family to play considering especially considering she's a perfectionist uh, so this is her outfit. She's very girly, a little bit boho. Again, her kind of look is, if we could zoom into her face, she's so beautiful. She's kind of based a little bit on like Madison Beer and the Kardashians. I think she's absolutely stunning. Like I can't get over kind of like as I'm playing with her, I'm like, she's such a beautiful sim. Like absolutely gorgeous. Like again, the slim thick body, she just, she's absolutely stunning. And her bum looks amazing in these jeans, I have to say. All the boys are gonna follow her, her at our school. Or, or all the girls you know whoever likes her um and this is another one of her, her outfits again very young very trendy quite preppy oh my goodness she needs to shave her legs though i'll shave her legs before i uh before i send her over to you uh, so again yeah she's also going through puberty and it's like she's one of those perfectionists who would be like i 
I do not want to be seen with hairy legs. I do not want to be seen without makeup. I do not want to be seen less than perfect. So again, another challenge for you to kind of work with there. I think she's, I just think she's absolutely stunning. Really girl next door as well, you know, really, really beautiful. That's kind of her prom outfit. <laughs> God, I can't wait to shave her legs. Um, again, hairy legs is absolutely fine. Um, some sims, I think it really suits, especially like on women. You know, some sims are like, you know, feminist, I want to have hairy legs, or I'm lazy, same girl. Uh, but yeah, Chloe, she's, uh, with that perfectionist, she, like, um, she doesn't have the perfectionist trait, but being a bit of a perfectionist, like she would, she would make sure she had time to shave before leaving the house. So cheerleading outfit, because again, she's a cheerleader, uh, and then this kind of like really cute casual uh, pastel coloured, uh, cosy kind of sportswear. Um, so her sleepwear, these are not actually enabled for sleepwear, I don't think, uh, but they come with a new pack and they look like um, what's the word? Like velour, not velour. Yeah, velour, that's the right word, isn't it? Like a velour tracksuit. Uh, it looks really cozy and really snuggly. So uh, that's what she wears to bed. Um, and you know, comfort, <laughs> like anything she can get for a little bit of comfort is what she's gonna go for. Uh, again, she's got, I really wish that I shaved her legs before I brought her into cast because I just feel like it's like not the look. Um, but yeah, here's a party wear. So again, going for the hollow trend uh, and that little baby aerial jacket works really well on her. Also this locket that she wears in my head, it's it's a locket that her mum gave her so she wears it with nearly every single outfit uh, again like her perfectionism she's got like french manicure nails and things like that she's again going for like that perfection right that instagram perfection um so again another cute outfit there another little hollow number um she's she, she's super sweet and she, super stylish i really really like her i think she does is quite young looking as well with like the trainers and stuff uh quite a standard little swimwear but again she does have the french nails and the little necklace on um, and this little outfit here for her summer wear super cute she's got such a lovely figure um, and and it just gets better because she's a cheerleader right so it just keeps getting better and better she's really is blessed uh, and then this is a little outerwear again again going for kind of like the blue and the pink really really suits her really well so uh, that is what you're getting so again I'm gonna hopefully try and summon the ghost of the mother and try and add her to the household so that you can actually have the ghost of the mum around if you want to um if she's not there i didn't manage to do it and if you don't want the ghost in the household if you'd rather just play without her just move her out right move her out use the household uh controls to to just move the mum out on her own and uh do as you will there so let's get her upstairs to deal with this because again i think she's going to be at school any minute now and she cannot go to school with hairy legs like she would never shave legs she's so sad um so we'll get her up there and she also needs to use the bathroom as well so the good thing is that when you shave it actually sorts out your hygiene as well so you don't have to kind of like shave and then get back in and then shower it does kill two birds with one stone um so there we go so yeah see so we i think i've got the no sensor mod on so just be well warned but uh yeah she's gonna get in there and i love how they shave the legs it's so cool um so again they are just barbie dolls you're not actually gonna see anything with the no sensor uh so he's going down here what's he doing watch the lost dog's journey home he's really indulging that in that grief isn't he he's really like doing things that are gonna make him cry it out um, um, so, uh, yeah, that's what he's up to. What are you up to? Oh my goodness. He's more... It's so sad. Like, it's so sad. I can't stand it. I just want to make them happy. And this is my thing as well. I'm, I'm the type of player that I want everybody to be really, really happy. So to create a scenario where I've just had to kill a sim is really unnatural to me. But it gives you a very, very interesting uh, starting point uh, to go with this family where you can uh, really take them from the lowest point in their life where they're struggling the most um, and you can help them. You can do things to help them out, right? You can solve their fears for them. You can, um, you know, have them support each other through these difficult times. You can make sure that, you know, they get over this, they get through, they get through this really difficult period. Oh my goodness, they're all crying and it's breaking my heart. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna stop because I can't, I can't stand it. Um, and uh, But I will put this family up on the gallery. And like I say, if you wanna just dump them into that re uh, that rental lot, just go ahead and turn it from a rental to a residential and you can put the family in there or whatever you wanna do with them. Um, 
and let me know let me know if you saw the live how if if you get them to have happy happy moments maybe chloe gets a really lovely boyfriend and you know gets to go to the prom and becomes prom queen maybe she um graduates from high school with perfect grades and gets a really good job to support her family maybe you go and get some ambrosia and bring the mum back to life i don't know what you're gonna do with them uh, but please do try and make them really really happy and look after them and uh yeah send me screenshots if you're comfortable doing so at cinderella mouse on twitter or just let me know in, in the comments uh kind of what you get up to with them in the game and please look after them because they're very near and dear to my heart <laughs> and uh yeah with that take care i hope you enjoy the expansion pack and I will see you again soon. Bye friends!